Welcome back everyone. Today I have a fun tutorial for the skill called the boxer step. The advantage of the boxer step is that it is a very efficient technique that allows you to jump for long periods of time. Now you can imagine for a boxer that can go 12 rounds, three minute rounds, endurance, conditioning, cardiovascular ability are important. So it's no surprise that they use the boxer step, which was named after their sport. Now, before we get into it, if you have not had a chance to take a look at our jump rope fitness community, first link below, We've got well over 10,000 people now, all looking to enhance their skills so that jump rope fitness is a fun way for them to get fit. If you haven't taken a look at our ropes, second link below, Cross Rope has an assortment of weighted ropes, including the quarter pound rope that I'll be using to demonstrate this tutorial today. If you have followed along before, you know that when I like to teach a new skill, we always start without the rope because if you can't get the timing and the coordination down without the rope, you're just gonna get tangled up and frustrated. So for the boxer step, the idea is that you're landing with most of your weight shifted to one side of your body and then lightly tapping on the other side. So you're bounding lightly, landing with most of your weight on the left side, switching on the next bound to most of your weight on the right side with your left foot tapping softly. And sometimes this is difficult because we're used to this basic jump where we're bounding with the weight equal on both feet. And so one of the drills that I like to have people try out to learn the feeling and the timing of the boxer step is to do these little side hops. So put your hands into position, hop to the left. Your left foot is gonna land first, load up most of your weight and your right foot is gonna then touch. Then you're gonna push off your left, land on your right, most of the weight is on your right. You're gonna tap with your left and then back. Here, 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 here. Now start out with that rhythm and that timing until you're at the point where you can do it fluidly back and forth. Because what you're gonna do on the boxer step is that same motion, you're just gonna cut out the side to side. So it's Left, right, right, left. Left, right, right, left. Left, right, right, left. And if you have a hard time when you go into that drill, just shift back to left, right, right, left. Left, right, right, left. Now, when we add the rope, start out nice and slow, and you may find that doing a little bit of side to side on the jump is gonna help you with that pattern. So try it that way just one at a time. Then back to the other side, hop over. I'm sure you'll mess up. It's part of the process. Right, left. And the whole point on this initial very basic drill is to get comfortable with the concept of one foot landing shortly after the other one. Once you've got that, you're gonna try to go Left, right, right, left, consecutively. You can move side to side, you can stay in place. It's entirely up to what feels comfortable to you for that rhythm. As you transition, start with your basic jump and then just start thinking about nice, easy hops to one side of your body. Left, right, right, left, left, right, right, left, left, right, right, left, left, right, right, left. Back and forth. It's gonna take a while to get comfortable with that, so go back and forth between the no rope drill where you're hopping side to side and then picking up your rope and trying to do one at a time. This is just one of those drills that's very subtle, and so if you just try to watch someone doing the boxer step without knowing how to piece the timing together, it's gonna be really tricky to learn. So I really highly advise that you start slow without the rope and then just do these side hops and see if that helps you piece it together. Because once you get this one down, 
you're going to find almost instantly that you're going to be able to jump for a much longer period of time. When you do the basic jump, your calves start to burn out much faster, in my experience, than when you're doing this boxer step. It's just a much more efficient way to jump because you're giving one of your legs a break back and forth, kind of like jogging. Imagine jogging compared to just hopping with two feet for a mile. You'd be exhausted if you just hopped on two feet consistently compared to going back and forth between feet. So it's taking some of the stress off of one of your legs, and this is going to be a very valuable skill. Thank you so much for following along. All these skills, they take time, they take patience, but they are really rewarding once you get them down. They make jumping rope so much more fun. So if you found this useful, make sure to join our community and share it with a friend. Thanks.